Hi, AT from CNC at Home. I wanted to create an air assist for my laser, and I came across this nozzle on Thingiverse. I thought this would work well. I was at my brother's house, and he printed this for me on his GTEC A20M using PLA+. It didn't turn out as well as I had hoped after cleaning it up. Uh, it turns out that the sides were a little bit too porous. The air wasn't flowing well. I decided to try a different approach. I wanted to run a tube down the side of my laser and have it angle in. To do this, I'm going to need to take the laser module off, drill a couple holes in the side of it. Here we can see the laser taken apart, so I have the module all by itself. I have a couple arrows drawn where I want to drill those holes. I used my neighbor's drill press and got a couple holes drilled in the side, the correct size to tap for an M4 screw. Here we can see those two holes. This is what it looks like with the tube clamps on it. It uh, holds fairly well. Here's what it looks like with the nozzle attached. One of the issues is as a variable focus laser, as the nozzle turns, it's going to refocus. So that just wasn't going to work. What I'm going to need to do is get the laser module mounted back onto the gantry so I can measure the tube. Here we have everything mounted back on. I just need to slide the tube into my two clamps and then give it a good measure so that I can see where I need to put the bend so that the air will blow towards where the laser beam hits my material. By having these clamps, I will be allowed to move the tube up and down just a little bit, depending on where I focus the laser. To get this bent, I took it out to the garage and filled it with sand. I do not have a tube bender for something like this, and the best way to do this is fill the tube up to help it from collapsing when you do the bend. Once I got it full, I ended up plugging the end of this so that the, the sand would stay in there. I just used some masking tape uh, rolled up to uh, shove in the back, and that held the sand in nice. And, and securely. To do the bending, I need something round. So I opened up the vise, put a little bit of neoprene rubber in there. Then I used a socket from my socket set, uh, one of the smaller ones that had a nice radius to it. Got that in there securely. This is a brass tube, and to bend it, it was recommended to heat it up first. So I'm going to get the uh, torch going here. And once that's going, we'll heat up the tube so that it'll bend a little bit nicer. Because this is going to get hot, I'm going to put on some heat resistant gloves that I have. And then we'll apply the heat to the tube. Now that I've gotten it heated up fairly well, I just put it against the socket and give it a bend. And we'll get it about 45 degrees. That looks pretty good. Now we need to get the sand out of the tube. We'll just dump it out. didn't all come out the one end, so we'll just open up the opposite end here and get the rest of that to come out. I tried blowing through it and found there was still some stuck in there. And then I tried blowing again, and this is what happened. <laughs> Sand went everywhere. It was kind of funny. But as you can hear, the air is flowing nicely. It's a good angle. Now we just need to get this back on the laser and get it adjusted. The length is a little long, so I'm going to mark it just back of where the laser beam should be 
and we'll just get the um, pipe cutter that I have and we'll cut that to size. So basically you just you turn it around, tighten it, turn it around, tighten it, and eventually it cuts through the pipe. This leaves a nice edge, might be a little sharp, and if I was worried about it, I suppose I could deburr it a little bit. The next step will be to adjust the length of the tube to make sure that we have enough travel vertically so that we can have the air assist blowing on something that's burning close to the laser head and something that's burning far away from it. This should be the lowest it ever needs to go, which is practically right on my honeycomb waste board. I'll get a Sharpie marker and just put a little mark here where I'll cut this off. Here's a nice white tile and we can see how this is going to work. The tube aims right down at where the laser dot is. And that'll help just blow stuff away. I'm going to do a test burn on two tiles. One with air assist, one without. You can kind of hear that extra hum. That was the air pump uh, pumping the air in. I don't know why the order of the burn is so chaotic here, but that's what the uh, test, the material test, came up with in light burn. I did two of these and setting them side by side, we can see the one on the left versus the one on the right. The right one is the one with air assist, the one on the left isn't. We can see that the air assist did help with the burn. Um, I look forward to doing some more experiments with this. I want to see how well it burns through, let's say, 3 millimeter plywood, that sort of thing. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you like the content, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out. I hope you enjoy doing your CNC at home projects. Oops.